Welcome, family. <laughs> Your early years were here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, you have a coast culture, character. Did you know that? There is something about the coast. And you, you are... He has it. What is that? He says the slow face. I'm sure I'm not slow. What is that? Where do you come from? From Western. Oh, you're not from the, uh, No, but he grew up in Mombasa. Uh, 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 yes. I have seen many people who grew up here, and their culture was that of the coast, not up country. If you're up country and you grew up in Nairobi, you get a Nairobi culture. Yeah. He'll come back to the country tomorrow. Did you know the World Bank, the vice president, was supposed to visit you? And I was told I should be in the office of the DVC at 7 at 9. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, in the last minute, I was told in the council, I even prepared a talking point for them. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> You're the one talking? No, he's closing. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Are those, are those over there? Are they with us? Yes. <laughs> they are all on phone. Um, I think this is a, has been a good start for us uh, this afternoon, uh, just to see some of the things that we read in the newspapers. Um, for those I know who come from a telecommunications or engineering background, it's probably uh, not so neat. Yeah, but for the majority of us, I guess it's, uh, it's to see especially how it's all, they cover up these containers in some nice, uh, in, in a nice building. Now, before I say probably my closing remark, we we'll want to invite, uh, this museum is Professor Ahmed Sheikh Naban. He's a Swahili consultant advisor, Research Institute of Swahili Studies of Eastern Africa. So we'll, we'll want to, one or two minutes, those who, who don't understand Kiswahili, <laughs> sit next to. We have a Swahili conversation. <laughs> yeah, Kiswahili. Uh, Aonge na Kiswahili. Mimi na ongea, au na zungumza Kiswahili kwa sababu ulimi wangu ni Kiswahili. Ongea. Taifa langu lugha kubwa ni Kiswahili. Na lugha ya, ku, ya kuungiliana au ya kueleana ni kiswahili ulimwengu mzima katika ulimwengu watu milioni moja unusu wanazungumza na kwa kiswahili. Kwa hivyo na mimi nazungumza kiswahili. Ingawa kingreza na kizungumza kitu atini megu chini. <laughs> kwa hivyo munakarbishwa hapa pani kwanza Mombasa, mji wakale, au tukasema Old Town na vile vile Swahili Cultural Center. Swahili Cultural Center yalianza 1992. Mimi ni mmoja katika fonda au kuanzisha ile. Alikuja mzungu wa kitu Akon kutoka United Nations akaja na fikra ya ku ya kuhuisha the old town. Nikiambia kwa kizungu to conserve old town. Kwa hivyo akawa na hikima hiyo au idea hiyo kwa kizungu kiambia Watoto wa hapa wapate kupata kazi, u create vacancy, 
for youth. Mm -hmm. Sasa hapo ndio tukakaa mimi na yeye kwa kwa hakuna mtu yote isipokuwa mimi na kwa kwa hapa National Museum of Kenya tukazungumza ikawa sasa tukampa shauri kwamba ikiwa ni kuleta contact kujenga hapa au kuhuisha majumba haya itakuwa ni hasara kwa tufungue chuo tuwafundishe watoto wetu waweze kujua kujenga na kutengeza vitu milango na rosha rosha ni balcony kwa hivyo tukafungua chuo hiko tukapata watoto wa kiume tukaingia msikitini tukiomba watoto na Amira tulikuwa sote huyu bi Amira yeye kiingia majumbani kwa watoto wa kike tukapata watoto wa kiume eh, kikundi kimoja thalathini na mbili wakawajifundisha kazi hizi za, za usarumala na wengine wakajifunza kazi ya kujenga nyumba building restoration kwa hivyo watoto wa kike tukawafundisha namna ya kushona nguo na vile vile embroidery kofia hizi za Kiswahili moja ni alfu tano hii ukifanya kwa hivyo mpaka sasa tunayo kama mwanga kuona nafasi hakuna nafasi tuangalie watembeza kwa hivyo karibuni na watoto wenu wafanya hizi sasa unaona kazi mm -hmm. na tuwauza hizi mtu atakaye yote tutakuja kupatana naye kwa bei reasonable price huyo amekaa kiti cha sultani kile <laughs> You are welcome to Kenya. Uh, host, you are welcome to Old Town. Anytime the door is open, Maweza Kuja ta midnight, there's no knock door. You are welcome. Again, from SICO, we are very, very delighted. Uh, Kenya is one of our strategic partners, uh, providing uh, broadband connectivity to academic institutions. And for us, one of our, one of our objectives is to bring development by education. And we strongly believe that uh, going by the strategies that you're putting in place, we believe we'll eventually have uh, cloud computing that addresses the academic uh, sector, whereby all institutions will be able to go to the internet, get an e-library or an e-book, have an exchange program that sits on the internet, and that's why we're here today. We want to partner with you as Kenneth, and we'll be able to deliver that to you. I don't know, I don't say much, but we also have more partners that we're going to bring on board, global partners, who will be able to provide content that is relevant to academic institutions. So whether it is from an academic uh, program only, which is, uh, let's say, maybe for students, whether it's for research, when it comes to uh, gathering research knowledge and information from across the world or from across the continent, we'll be able to partner together with Kenneth and other partners from a global perspective to make our, our vision uh, a reality. So thank you very much. Always feel free to come in case of the year to have another visit. We had discussions with some of you individually in regards to the universities. We have, um, what I would say, a, a program whereby we take students on a three month uh, uh, course for uh, yeah, attachment here. Yeah. Currently we have two on board. So feel free to talk to us if you need to give to bring your students here because we'd like to open them up to uh, submarine uh, engineering and also from a commercial perspective. It's a new area. I must say all of us are learning. So, so we're very, very willing to support you in that area. So we'd like to go into also maybe even a formal arrangement whereby every two, three months we get students coming in here on attachment. So you can talk about that maybe after this. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy yourselves. Maybe, maybe if I add something, yeah. so, will correct me, under Swahili uh, culture, you don't speak after you are seniors. Right? <laughs> 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 so, it is Africa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, 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 so, you have to come around. So, uh, but on, uh, especially on the internship program, uh, the station is small. Although we, we consider people from, from all the stations uh, along the coast of Africa down from South Africa. Uh, but, but we build a curriculum because here we try and actually uh, within a week, I will say around two days, it's like we are in a classroom, we teach the students. But since we only take two at a time, we are, we, we are willing to share the same information that we are training the students to the rest of the, the ones who are not able to come in here. 
So and and also I will encourage the ones who are always here in Mombasa because always I'm seeing students visiting here, but they are going to the beach. <laughs> at, least, at, at least three universities: Baraton, Jomo Kenyatta, and I think Kenyatta. Uh, Jomo Kenyatta come regularly, Baraton regularly. I think Kenyatta only once. The rest also when you are here, we only need uh, at least two weeks notification. We will allow you. We will teach them as much as we can, and after you go. We will share the same information with you. So keep that in mind, uh, so that we keep this this uh, collaboration uh, going on. Right. Uh, okay. Great. Uh, Jackie, why are you so, going? Come, come and say one more. I think the other flight back. Uh, uh, for me, it's exciting just um, having you here. And uh, just when you were going through the video, I remember I've been in Sikom almost two years now. I remember during the construction phase, for me, submarine was also very new. Even after coming from the fiber background, it was still very new. We kept on wondering how will this cable look when will July 23rd reach, and finally the days came. But for me, what is amazing is how lives, I see lives change in every sector. And, and one of the most, um, uh, most defining sectors I've seen is, is health and education. Having, having dealt with clients across East Africa, I can see how how they are redefining and re-engineering the way they do things. And, and I'm excited to see you here. And it's, it's, it's important that we, we also, beyond also visiting the cable station, we are open to give knowledge. Uh, we've had several students who ask, remember we had a topic about fiber, which we were able to address, about regulation, how does it change, about uh, how do you able, how do you see the trends across the market? what is cloud computing and we are open for this we can we can be able to put content together and be able to access it to you for you to share that knowledge we, we know this is an, a new area as we are learning we also want the students also to learn as well so that by the time they come out they are ready for us we had a steep learning curve and uh, we, we would we wouldn't like that repeated and so we, we would like the students to be well prepared at the same time there are a lot of information that you can you can you can get across apart from that as a student come out, we always have new jobs across Ecom, so we would like to invite uh, students to, to feel free to be able to, to be creative and also to do that. We also, um, I'm excited about how we've worked with Meoli about two years, and we've seen quite a lot going through. And so we, we have picked up a lot of your challenges and we will work together to see how we can be able to access this broadband across and beyond our normal pops. We've had um, partnership elsewhere where we are able to extend beyond our normal reach and create meet me points. So we'll look at how we can work together to be able to do that. Otherwise, thank you very much.